What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I know I've been uh, on a little hiatus lately, but uh, I'm back, as Arnold would say. Um, today's a little different kind of video, and if you haven't noticed, the uh, photo booth looks a little different. And that's because it's uh, not a photo booth anymore, or a photo box, or however you want to say it. Um, sadly, I had to uh, pack it up, move it, didn't have any room for it anymore. Um, this will be the temporary setup for now, until I, uh, you know, get more space, because that seems to be the issue with my uh, problems right now, is uh, the problem I'm having is uh, too much stuff, not enough space. I'm sure a lot of you collectors can uh, can uh, understand what I'm, where I'm coming from from that. But uh, yeah, let's uh, start today's video. It's uh, not figure related for once, it's actually card related. I got a nice stack of Marvel Ultra something, what are they called? Fleer, 1995 Fleer Ultra Marvel cards. I got a big stack of them here. I thought it'd be a cool idea to uh, do a little video on them, going through them and all. Um, probably going to butcher some of the names because I don't know every single character and don't know how to say every single character's name. But I'm pretty sure these are all just X-Men cards. Um, all from like 93, 94, 95. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to start pulling them out here and showing you guys uh, who we got. And uh, I'll flip them. I'm not going to read every single card. So if you guys want me to, if you guys want to read the backs of the cards, you can uh, pause it and uh, give her a read. But uh, here's the first guy. We got Sincere. Um, it's not that bad, it's not that long of a paragraph on the back of the card, but I guess he's, uh, one of Cable's deadliest foes. Never even heard of him. Looks pretty cool. As you guys know, I'm not a comic book reader. I'm just really an action figure collector and TV show watcher, so. <laughs> Don't really know too much of the lore. But yeah, what do we got here? Uh, Cinch, I guess. Sometimes it's hard to read the name on the front, so I will turn it over to uh, to read the name. I'm sorry for the uh, glares too, guys. If there's any glares in the cards, there actually might uh, might fix that. One second. I don't know if that's going to make the video better or worse. Let's see. What do we got next? I think it looks better. A little bit better. We got Skin. Never heard of this person. There's a little bio on him. Or her. I actually don't know. I guess it's a guy. Um, artists are on labeled on here too. Robert Rodriguez. <laughs> Probably not the director or film writer I'm thinking of. Who do we got here? Penance. She looks kind of Puma-like. Interesting. Never heard of her. A lot of these people I've never heard of. Not gonna lie. But the cards just look really cool. The art looks awesome. Um, that's what really caught my eye. Forearm. That's a cool name. Mutant Liberation Front. I don't think any of these cards are in order, by the way, so... You guys are wondering that. Shout out to the guy who sold me these in, uh, on uh, Facebook Marketplace. Decent price. Um, who we got? Feral? Feral? X-Force? Something? Um, yeah, she looks cool, I guess. A lot of, like, tiger, like, cat mutants out there. Who do we have here? White Queen. White Queen. Don't know who... Oh, it's Emma Frost. Okay. So this was, uh... I guess, uh, her original name? White Queen. Um, I don't remember ever anyone calling her White Queen, but then again, I don't know too much. So, interesting. I haven't even looked at these cards since I bought them, I'll be honest. <laughs> I've saved my uh, reactions for the video we got here Reaper he looks pretty cool too he's got like Nightwing looking style to his eyes from DC 
<laughs> with his fearsome something something uh, I don't want to read them all sorry guys I just don't want to make this video too too long um, but yeah he looks cool I want to read them but then I don't just for the sake of the video not being so long you know I want this one to be a little quicker we got Moonstar here. I do remember having this card when I was younger. I might even still have it in my old binder in my closet. So there is a few in this stack that I actually do remember getting from like those card machines. You'd put like 50 cents in and get like a, a card or a couple cards or a dollar or whatever it was. Those were cool. Uh, Locus. Another person I have no idea who it is. I don't know if I flipped the back of Moonstar's card there. Sorry guys. If you guys wanted to read... Moonstar's bio. Hopefully it's clear enough. But uh, yeah. Interesting, interesting. What do we got here? Rain Fire. Whoa. He, uh, I've never heard of this guy either. He looks pretty crazy. Mutant Liberation Front. I'm gonna assume the Mutant Liberation Front is like something to do with uh what's his face bolivar trask and like those guys maybe all these liberator guys trying to stop him i don't know let me know in the comments give me some uh, history lessons here maybe i should just go pick up a book and read for once <laughs> um who do we have here wild side wild side maybe they're all from the mutant liberation front i don't know maybe that's why they all have like the same kind of border at the bottom there but uh he kind of looks like uh, Quicksilver, Warpath, and uh, what's his face? Sabretooth all collided. <laughs> looks cool though. Interesting. Tempo. Looks like the Tempo really wants to be Iron Man here. <laughs> um, yeah, another character I've never heard of. So, there you go. Very bland look to her. Who do we have here? We got Angel. Part of the OG original team. Angel in those classic original outfits. Pretty, pretty cool. Looks like we got a couple uh, original team members on the, on the go here. We got Beast. Beast before he was blue. Hank, is it Henry, Henry McCoy? I always thought it was Hank McCoy. Maybe I'm uh, thinking of a different version. But that's cool. Beast. And Cyclops. He looks pretty cool too. Maybe we'll put the cards here so we don't really spoil them too much. But uh, that's a cool card too. Cyclops is one of my favorites. He just looks really cool. I always wanted one of those Cyclops visors. Psylocke. She is another really badass character. Um, I am missing a Marvel Legend version of her, I will be honest. She is a really big hole missing in my X-Men figure collection. Hope to get her one day. I should have got that three-pack with Nimrod, but I just didn't want it at the time. But whatever. Here's Wolverine. This is another card I know I got when I was a kid somewhere in my uh, binder but uh i think like they had this one on the uh on the card machine like it was like the one there like the ones that showing you could get like these are the ones you can get kind of thing and i remember like oh i really want that wolverine card and then like i ended up getting it i couldn't believe it i was really really young when that happened what do we got here we got rogue x-men blue team rogue it works nice. Artist Ray Lago. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Don't forget to smash the like button, guys, if you guys are enjoying this. I sure am, because I've I haven't looked at any of these cards yet. Gambit. Rogue and Gambit right after one another. Are they uh let's see the numbers? Are they 98, 96? Okay, okay. Oops. But uh, yeah, Gambit. Another badass character, man. I really hope we see him in the in the movies eventually. 
Because he was, oh, he wasn't really done that great in the uh, X-Men Origins movie. I mean, the actor didn't do a bad job. It's just, I think, the look of the character and, I don't know, it just wasn't great. Um, Cyclops, another Cyclops. Blue team, that classic blue and yellow. The leader of the blue team, Cyclops. Badass card. One day, I might put all these cards, like, on a plaque or something and frame them, because they just look awesome. The artwork just looks amazing. This beast looks pretty awesome, too. Blue Team Beast. Um, card 94, artist Ray Lago again. Awesome. really hope I don't get a... Uh, monetized for this music because it says it was uh, royalty free uh, we got here Iceman original team look at that he's all ice but his uh, his boots there well, that's pretty cool hopefully the music isn't too loud too turn it down just a smudge but uh, yeah cool Iceman Bobby who do we got here Marvel Girl Marvel Girl who's Marvel Girl she's doing something to this guy is this Captain Marvel wonder Jean during her oh I guess this is uh what's her face uh Jean Grey Marvel Girl weird maybe that was her first name I don't know that's what the bio it made it seem like it was Jean Grey um here's a Professor X card that one looks pretty cool too original team that's pretty cool Professor X, John Ramita Sr. Artist. Oh, cool, cool. Oh, we got Forge. We got Forge here. Um, he looks pretty cool. The guy that uh, built the time machine to save the future, to go back in time. Sent Bishop and Cable back, I guess. Uh, he looks pretty cool. We got here, we got Polaris. Polaris. It's a nice card, too. It says Nelson right there. Don't know why. Weird. Oh, because it says Artist Nelson de Castro. There you go. Pretty cool, pretty cool. What do we have here? We have Havoc. That's a pretty cool picture of him, too. I don't know, man. There's just something about these cards, man. They just, when I saw them on the marketplace, I had to have them. Especially when it said complete set for only 40 bucks. I thought, you know what? What the heck? Why not? Yeah, he looks cool. We got here, we got Iceman. Gold Team. This is another one I think I remember having. That looks very familiar. most powerful and underrated member of our team. Wow, look at that. Some high praise there from, I think, Professor X, maybe? <laughs> uh, speaking of Professor X, here he is again. Another, uh, like, gold team card. Bo artist Boris Vale Vallejo. Vallejo. Should know how to say that. Vallejo. <laughs> cool. Oh, here we go. We got Storm here. One of my faves. She looks cool. Storm is always one of my favorites. Gold team. Any of you guys were playing the uh, Marvel vs. Capcom games? Those games were sick. Archangel. Really hope they make another... Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom game. Uh, just something missing out there in the Marvel world in the video games department. Like, I feel like we should have a lot more video games, but we don't. Here's Bishop, the man across time. Gold team. Bishop. Badass. An important element of leadership is helping one's teammates to adapt to their circumstances. Maybe I'll read one sentence per card starting now. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, again, done by Boris there. Valerjo. Awesome card. Who do we have here? We got Jean Grey. This is another one I think I remember having. The gold team. 
my oldest and dearest friend amongst the X-Men. Jean Grey is also an invaluable asset to the team. I find myself command I find myself commanding. Huh. Weird. Oh, does that say commanding? Yeah, it does. Weird. I don't get it. Uh cool. Oh, here we got Quick Silver. He's got a very thinking look on his face, like, hmm, should I steal all those cookies in that store? Because I know I can and I won't get caught. <laughs> um, but yeah, he looks pretty cool. Artist Nelson DeCastro. Awesome card. Who do we got here? We got Strong Guy. He looks pretty cool. I actually uh, missed out on the uh, Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure, just because I... I gave up building figures, or buying figures to build figures I don't want. Like, I don't know, it's just, I'm over it. Well, I guess this one's quoted by Forge, artist Nelson DeCastro. When I took over, I thought Guido was a clown with no idea of our mission. Blah, 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 blah. You guys read the rest. <laughs> cool. And random. <laughs> what a name. It's a random name, eh? Never heard of this guy before. He's got uh he's got cannons for arms, which is not cannons but uh barrels, I guess. Um never heard of him. He looks cool. Let me know in the comments if they've made a Marvel Legend of that guy, because that'd be a cool figure to have. What do we got here? We got oh music got quiet again, so I'm gonna turn it back up. Um Richter. Sounds like a, I think that's the guy's name from Total Recall, right? See you at the party, Richter. <laughs> the artist is uh, Peter Scanlon. He looks kind of cool, too. Not bad. What do we have here? We got Don Domino from uh, X-Force, maybe? Yeah, X-Force something. Peter Scanlon again. She's cool. Wouldn't mind getting a comic action figure of her as well. Maybe in the future. I have her, uh, not MCU, but Deadpool figure. Uh, who do we have here? Shatterstar. I know I've heard of this person before. Don't really know anything about them, though. Shatterstar. Peter Scalen, the artist. Cool. What do we got here? We've got Cannonball. Another guy, part of the X-Force, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, he looks cool. I never noticed the little, the names of the artists. Like, I did before, but like, in the past I never noticed or clued in to what the hell that was. <laughs> Here's Cable. That's cool. That's a badass card. Cable. Cool. Turn it over here. Awesome. He's definitely one of the coolest characters. Oh, here's Boomer. Which I think they changed her name to Boom Boom now. I'm not 100% on that. But she does have like the same look as Boom Boom. And they might have just changed her name. Because Boomer means a lot of things now, <laughs> apparently. Um, I just, whenever I see the word Boomer, I think of uh, Left 4 Dead. So... <laughs> There we go. Who do we have here? Oh, I can't even read that. X... Co X... X Overs? Something song? I, I can't even read that. X Questionnaires? I, I, I can't read that. But uh, I've never even heard of this guy. Greg and Tim Hild Hildebrandt. Two artists made this, uh, made this image here. Interesting. Never heard of them. We got our first uh, is it horizontal card. Um, Archangel versus Apocalypse. That looks pretty cool. I guess uh, they were. He was part of the Four Horsemen. I guess maybe he uh, got back at him one of those times. Uh, who do we have here? Extinction Agenda. Extinction Agenda. Okay. That's kind of cool. It's a cool art. That's a cool card, actually. 
Wolverine getting all uh, tangled up, Cable and Angel too. That's pretty cool. All right, sorry about that, guys. The camera fell over. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's a uh, the Extinction Agenda card. It looks pretty cool. What do we have here? Fatal Attractions. Ooh, that looks sick. Magneto's just like ripping the adamantium out of him. Out of Wolverine there. That looks cool. Really cool. That's awesome. It's one of my uh, favorite scenes in uh, Days of Future Past. I guess it's not him ripping him out, but him putting in poles and rebar and shipping them off to the ocean. <laughs> uh, who do we got here? Inferno. It looks like uh, Mr. Sinister and someone else. Uh, Madeline. An evil clone of Jean Grey. Wow. That sounds interesting. Um, cool. Mr. Sinister is cool. Who do we got here? Phalanx. Phalanx Co Co Covenant? Phalanx Covenant. Looks like a team of uh, Banshee and uh, someone else. Uh, cool. Never heard of him. I mean, I've heard of Banshee, but I don't know who the other person is. Who do we have here? Hall Fall of the Mutants. Apocalypse. So I guess the cards are now just going on like a story-based title. Um, I don't know. But that card looks pretty cool. Apocalypse is badass. What do we have here? We got Warpath. Warpath. Super jacked. Oops. Best backup a field commander could hope for. Cool. So one thing about uh, music on YouTube, you never know... Uh, when it's going to be low or high. You got to keep messing with the volume here. Uh, who we got here? Siren? Siren? Well, maybe that's the lady from the other team there. Maybe not. Maybe it's just another member. Siren. I think that's her name. Maybe she has the voice of a siren. <laughs> Still got a lot of cards here, eh? A lot more than I thought. Uh, Cable vs. Wolverine. That's a pretty cool card. That looks badass. If I were to frame all the cards, I think I would frame the horizontal ones differently. But uh, that's cool. Have like one frame for just horizontal cards, one frame for vertical. Look cool. What do we have here? Long shot versus Mojo. <laughs> Mojo, I remember from uh, the animated series. He is one weird looking dude. He sounds really funny too. The artist is Dan Lawless. Cool. So we've got a lot of horizontal cards here. Omega Red versus Wolverine. It's pretty cool. Omega Red's one of uh one of my favorite X-Men villains. He just looks so badass. Old Russian Cold War enemies. What more to say than that? Who do we have here? We got Wolverine versus Magneto, or Magneto versus Wolverine, I should say. That's how it says it on the card there. Pretty cool. It's part of their greatest battles. Artist Dan Lawless again. Vowing revenge for a near fatal wound inflicted by Wolverine. Uh, Wolverine almost gotcha, eh? Egg Magneto. What do we got here? Cyclops versus Mr. Sinister. Another cool battle card. Artist Glenn Fabry. Cool. What do we got here? We got Cable versus Strife. Cable versus Strife? Strife I feel like I've heard of too. Not 100% sure on who it is, though. 
but uh, that's cool. I really hope my camera doesn't fall over again, guys. That was really weird. My uh, tripod here just like gave up. Couldn't hold my phone anymore. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Uh, we got Magneto versus Professor X here. It looks like Professor X is really trying to uh, get in his mind and he can't because he's wearing that helmet. I don't know what else he'd be doing that pose for. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, that's pretty cool. Close friends. Once friends and allies, both men have followed their dreams for a mutant kind in radically different directions. It's a very good summary of their friendship. What do we got here? We have Cyber versus Wolverine. Cyber's another one of those guys I feel like I've seen a figure of in the stores. Or he's coming out or something recently. So that's, he does look kind of cool. I think he's in that... Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, if you action figure guys know. I think he's going to come in that four-pack with Wolverine, where he's all beat up and stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's cool. Cool, cool, cool. What do we got here? Cable versus Deadpool. Now that's a sick card. I was wondering when we were going to get our first Deadpool card here. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Artist, Glenn Fabry. Pretty cool card, man. Deadpool looks badass in that in that card. What we got here, we got Spring Break. We got the Spring Break cards. We got Jubilee putting uh, some sunscreen lotion on uh, Professor X there. Oh, look at that. Spring Break. That's just cool, man. I want to get that as a poster. That's badass. So 90s. So 90s. Here's another one. Spring Break Bishop just sitting there chilling <laughs> on the beach with his giant guns. Oh, man. That's hilarious. I'm always prepared to enjoy life or defend it. <laughs> That's great. Who do we got next here? We got another Greatest Battles. Sabretooth for Jean Grey. Looks like they're kind of posing like a for a love photo there. But maybe she's just backing up into him. <laughs> but that's cool. Oh, here's another spring breaker. Colossus getting his tan on. Look at that. It's so shiny. Not shiny, but like it's got this weird effect to it. He's just sitting there having a drink. That's awesome. Or no, that's Iceman. Oh my god. I thought that was Colossus at first. It looks way too jacked to be Iceman. Jeez. Yell at me in the comments. I guess that's a bucket of ice beside him, so it makes sense. <laughs> it's a cold, hard fact. I am the coolest dude on the beach. <laughs> that's awesome. Alright, what do we got here? Sauron versus Wolverine. Look at Wolverine's face there. Ready to just rip Sauron's head off. That's cool. That is cool. Artist Greg and Tim Hildebrand. Sweet. I like those spring break cards a lot. Those are hilarious. What do we got here? Rogue versus Miss Marvel. That was pretty cool. So I'm pretty sure this is Carol Danvers. Yeah, it is. It says right there. Miss Marvel, a.k.a. Captain Marvel. This is how... Uh, I'll read this one. In a tragic battle that changed both their lives, Carol Danvers, the original Miss Marvel, met her match when she battled a young and inexperienced rogue. So pretty much rogue is cooler. Get at me in the comments, Captain Marvel fans. <laughs> and who do we have here? Another greatest battles. Psylocke versus Rev Revanche? 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 Um, I don't know who the other character is, but Psylocke looks pretty cool there. Uh, yeah, cool. Oh, yeah, no spring break. Gambit and Rogue. Look at them, eh? They just go perfectly together. It's too bad Gambit can't uh, get his boogie on. But, uh, damn, is Rogue fine? She gotta wear that glove. She 
has to wear that glove. Mon, mon Dieu, how do you put lotion uh, on a bell you can't touch? <laughs> true, true gambit. Here we go, Sabretooth Wolverine. Brothers, I'm pretty sure. Bitter enemies with a troubled past. Both mutants use their claws, healing factor, strength, and hunting skills to end their years-long feud once and for all. Maybe they're not brothers. Maybe they're only brothers in the uh, in the movie. But uh, that's pretty cool. I always thought they were brothers. Maybe they are. Maybe they are. They just don't accept it. Here's the uh, checklist card. That's cool to have, I guess. Put that there. Put that on the bottom there. Here's another spring break one of Rogue building a nice sandcastle there. Um, her face isn't the greatest, I will say, but, uh, I wish it was this easy to mold Gambit into what, what I want. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, snap. Here's another one here. Storm. Rocking that two-piece bikini. <laughs> Trust me, we can expect clear and sunny weather for the duration. I'm assuming that's what she sounds like, but I don't know. <laughs> that's what she kind of sounded like in the animated series. Awesome card. Scott and Jean playing in the water. Spring break. Quick, Jean. Danger room sequence. M45. Hey, Scott, chill out. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, snap. Look who's cooking the barbecue. The sausages. Wolverine. I guess uh, it would be pretty convenient for him to be the guy on the barbecue. You could just stab everything and turn it and eat it right off the barbecue. Hey, bub, do you want your dogs in halves, thirds, or quarters? <laughs> That's cool. Badass. That's a sick picture. Oh, look at this one. Psylocke and Archangel. Psylocke's doing her, like, sexiest pose possible, and Angel's just like... Damn. <laughs> That's cool. Wow, Psylocke doesn't need her mutant powers to mesmerize a man. There you go. He said it himself. What do we got here? We got a, a storm card. It looks like she's having a bad headache. Maybe a bad dream. <laughs> uh, artist Julie Bell. Cool. Oh, here's another uh, Banshee here. Generation X. In me time, I've been a criminal, an Interpol agent, a sonic screaming X-Man, and now a blooming teacher to a bunch of wee mutants. <laughs> cool. What do we got here? Tapestry. Tapestry. I've never heard of this person. Artist Kathleen Tholey. Um, yeah, never heard of her. Who do we have here? Shadow Cat. Shadow Cat, eh? Never heard of Shadow Cat. I guess yeah, if you when you really want to be Catwoman, but you, the, the name's taken, so you just you just call yourself Shadow Cat. Who knows? Maybe she was made before Catwoman, but I doubt it. I'm just saying, I doubt it. All right, who do we have here? Nightcrawler. The Incredible Nightcrawler. Looks cool. Often wonder if my days as an X-Man prepared this former circus performer for a leadership role, but one can never prepare. It's just, this is true, Nightcrawler. You never know what will happen in the world of the X-Men. <laughs> um, who do we have here? Mondo. Mondo. I've never heard of this. There's no room in war for someone as happy-go-lucky as Mondo. I've never heard of Mondo. Let me know. Is he cool? <laughs> um, M. This person's name is just M. Huh. She's brilliant like Forge. She's strong like Rogue. And she's got poisonic abilities like Jean. Or is that psych... Poisonic. That's got to be a psychic, right? Psionic? Psionic abilities. 
Sorry, I'm not a A plus student, guys. Uh, Jubilee, we got Jubilee here with her really red rosy cheeks. She was just a wee orphan lassie when she saved Wolverine from the Reavers, but she's got a ways to go before she's an X-Man. Cool. Sauron. We have Sauron, Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Artist Lou Harrison. Um, I honestly don't know too much about him. I remember the episode, the X-Men animated series, but I really need to go back and watch that series. It's been way too long. Um, I know they're all on Disney Plus, so I should probably get on that. It's been it's been a while. We got Toad here, another member of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Another character I hope we get another Marvel Legend of soon, because I feel like he's a pretty cool villain. I outlasted them all. I did little Mort Mortimer Tanby, whatever that means. Even Magneto. <laughs> uh, cool. Toad. Uh, Sabretooth with a chain. Um, being one of the old Buckethead's X-Men definitely has its advantages. He looks cool. Looks like he's part of the X-Men wearing that outfit. Uh, the Blob. Did you just call me Blob? That's big, stupid oaf. Sure, he was around at the beginning. Knew me when I was Ma when I was Magneto's lackey, but now even he sees my genius. Fred J. Dukes. Artist Lou Harrison. Cool. The Blob. Fantasia. Whoa. Can't even tell what the heck's going on in this card. Whoa, she looks like a organism cell thing. My Brotherhood of Evil Mutants has no high and mighty goal like Magneto's. Weird. What do we have here? It looks like uh, Pyro. Another Brotherhood of, Brotherhood of Evil Mutants member. Artist Lou Harrison. Cool. He's cool. I liked him in the X2 movie. Besides, he didn't like have a costume or anything, but he looked... Just, I don't know, his attitude and shit was cool. Guardian. The Canadian. Awesome. Member of the Alpha Flight. Oh, another member of the Alpha, Alpha Flight here. We got uh, Puck. Eugene Milton Judd is his real name, I guess. Um, yeah, Glenn Fabry is the artist. Oops. Cool. I think I have this one, too, from before. Here's another uh, one. We got the Vindicator. I like to think of him as just like the Captain Canada. <laughs> um, Alpha Flight member. I think he might be the leader, him or the Vindicator. Or the, sorry, the uh, Guardian. Red Guardian or whatever. Not Red Guardian, just Guardian. So many names out there. Who do we got? Amanda Sefton. Yeah. Never heard of you. Kathleen Foley. Interesting, interesting. Who do we have here? Doug Locke. That's an interesting name too. I've never heard of this guy. When the Phalanx resurrected Douglas Ramsey and his symbiote Warlock as the techno-organic being Douglock, they did not know how strong his will could be. He looks pretty crazy. Looks like Mr. Fantastic and like someone else and someone else combined. Uh, who do we have here? Cerise? 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 I don't know. Never heard of her. She looks kind of crazy. What do we got here? Husk. Never heard of Husk? Robert Rodriguez, the artist. Um, don't know her. What do we got here? We got Chamber. Another guy I've never heard of. I guess I don't really know anyone from this uh, Generation X thing, team. Um... 
Yeah, never heard of them. A lot of characters I don't know. I'm starting to realize that now. Uh, Black Tom. Black Tom. I remember uh, Black Tom Cassidy. There you go, Thomas Cassidy. I know he's uh, he's got problems with Deadpool or Domino or something. What do we have here? Whoa, Brood. What the heck is this? A bunch of aliens or something? These per parasitic parasitic aliens use host bodies to incubate their young. Oh god, so it is like aliens. <laughs> Crazy. Oh my god, what the heck is this? Blood scream. Jesus, look at that. Looks like something out of spawn. Therese Nelson, one of Wolverine's strangest foes, was once a surgeon in Francis Drake's pirate navy. He was a surgeon, I guess. Um, might want to fix himself there. <laughs> what do we got here? Ask Kenny. Ask Kenny. I've never heard of her. She looks like she could be from the future. She has like a cable looking arm. Um, Boris Vallejo is the artist. Cool. We have here Archangel. Is it Archangel or Archangel? Never, never knew. I would say Arch, right? Because Arc would have a K. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if I'm saying it wrong. But that that was, uh, looks like a pretty cool card there. Long haired angel. Uh, here's Bishop. Another Bishop card here. Bob Larkin is the artist. Pretty cool. What in the hell is this? Albert. <laughs> what the hell is this? A mechanical construct created to mimic Wolverine and destroy him. Albert couldn't match the fighting ability of the original until he upgraded himself, becoming smarter, uglier, and deadlier. Wow. I want to know more about this guy. Um, why didn't he look like that in uh, the Logan movie? <laughs> Imagine if the X-24 looked like that. Oh, man. <laughs> looks awesome. It's awesome, but freaking scary at the same time. Oh, look at this card. Apocalypse. That looks pretty cool. That's a pretty cool looking card. Bob Larkin. That's cool. Apocalypse. We're all learning here. It's interesting. Arcade. This guy I actually just saw on the shelf at Walmart the other day. I almost uh, picked him up in action figure form. Um, just because I thought he looked kind of interesting. He reminded me of like a Riddler type character. I don't know. But uh, he looks interesting. Arcade. Might pick him up if I see him again in stores. What do we got here? Dazzler. She looks cool. Dazzler had it all. Singing career and thanks to her mutant ability to transduce sound into powerful light effects. A place with the X-Men. But she gave it all up to be with her lover, Longshot. She gave it all up for love. What do we got here? Exodus. Powered by Psycho... Kinetic blasts, teleportation, and invulnerability. Exodus claims to be the following: to be following the catatonic Magneto's orders to continue the mad quest for mutant supremacy on Earth. Huh? I've never heard of this guy. Bob Larkin, the artist. What we got here? Domino. We got Domino. Oh, hit the light by accident. There we go. Domino. This one looks pretty cool. Pretty thick down there. Uh, she's tougher than nails and fast and agile in a fight, but what makes Domino a unique ally to Cable and X-Force is her mutant luck, which always makes her things fall into place for this mercenary. Luck isn't a superpower. <laughs> Cyber. Here's Cyber again. He does look kind of interesting, I will say. Skin covering laced with indestructible adamantium makes him a tough foe to beat. 
does look like a tough foe. Dark Phoenix. Wow, look at that evil face, man. Oh, I gotta stretch my leg here, sorry. Dark Phoenix. This cosmic primal force in the guise of Jean Grey went on to genocidal rampage through space. Jesus. One person you don't want to mess with is the Dark Phoenix. Wow, this card is badass. Look at this Cyclops card. Doing that iconic blast into the sky. That reminds me of Captain, or uh, not Captain, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Whenever you, like, won a game with him, he would, like, just do that. And just poke, shoot his blast into the sky. It's badass. Awesome. Cyclops. Uh, I this was, uh, I thought this was What's-His-Face from, uh, DC, Lex Luthor, uh, Shaveri, Shaveri, weird, don't know who this guy is, we got here, we got Colossus, finally we have Colossus, I don't think we've had a Colossus card in this stack yet, um, he is wearing some weird outfit, I will say, I've never seen him wear that outfit, but looks like he's sliding it between some rocks or trying not to get squished. I don't know. Pretty badass, though. Tom Tompkins, the artist. What do we got here? Copycat. Ooh, it's Copycat. A shape-shifting mutant espionage agent. She once impersonated X-Force Domino so well, even Cable was fooled. Copycat loves... Copycat's love of danger is matched only by her sense of intrigue. Wow. Interesting. She's like, uh, Mystique, I guess? Uh, Jean Grey. That's a nice picture of her. Julie Bell is the artist. Cool. And we got... That's gotta be Kane! <laughs> um, I feel like I've heard of him before, too. Multiple amputee. Kane turned into Canada's super-secret Weapon X program for help. The same outfit that spawned the X-Man Wolverine. Now with his projecting cybernetic limbs, Kane the ultimate cover agent. Cool. He's Canadian. I didn't know that. Well, he's extra cool in my books now. <laughs> what do we got here? We got the Juggernaut! I'm the Juggernaut. If uh, if anyone here has watched any of my Marvel Legend uh, action figure collection videos, you guys probably noticed I kept calling Juggernaut Juggernog, just because I'm a uh, I play a lot of Call of Duty Zombies, so I'm just used to saying that word like that. But I, even though it's totally probably a different word, but yeah, I don't know. Just a little insider information there. That's a pretty badass card. This is the artist for that, Bob Larkin. Seems to be Bob Larkin, I think, is the one that uh, the cards I like the most seem to be from him. Uh, Grizzly. This guy looks crazy. Looks like, uh, who's that guy from The Simpsons with the red hair? Psycho Bob? Psycho Bob or whatever? <laughs> a former member of the Six Pack. This giant bear-like mutant is formidable. Is a formidable opponent. He does look like a formidable opponent. We got here Haven. Um, never heard of Haven. Artist Tom Tompkins. Haven has the power to open dimensional portals. Oh, that's interesting. Cool. <laughs> uh, Hodge. What the heck is this? This guy looks like he's a computer chip. Cameron Hodge, once a trusted friend to X Factor, showed his true by by I can't by goaded nature and betrayed the team I've never, some of these words I've never heard before people so I'm sorry if I'm uh, butchering words and names here <laughs> um, we got here Fitz, Fitz, Fitzroy 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 it's hard sometimes it's hard to read the, the name on the bottom there when it's shining and it's not all lit uh, Fitzroy having escaped imprisonment for murder and other heinous crimes Heinous crimes. 
in an alternate future timeline. Fitzroy uses his time portal called Tripod. Took another tumble. It uh, keeps uh, falling apart. I think I definitely need to get a new one now. Um, my phone just keeps like sliding out of it. So that's pretty lame. Gotta go get a new one. Uh, Gambit. Looking pretty badass there, holding up a flaming ace. Bob Larkin again. Another uh, great card there. What do we got here? We got Gideon. This guy I know I have a toy of. Wow. Okay. Um, actually, in my random bin of figures video, I uh, had him in that bin, and I was like, who the hell is this guy? What's this guy's name? Well, I guess his name's Gideon. <laughs> Um, Gideon is X-Force most relentless antagonist. So, there you go. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, here we go. Phalic, phalanx. Phalanx? Intelligent techno-organic entity is intent on suppl supplanting humanity with sentient replications of itself. He looks pretty, uh... Pretty end of the world like. <laughs> Who we have here? We got another Omega Red card. Pretty badass. I don't know if we've had a single Omega Red card actually. Um, artist Dave DeVries with wrist tendrils made of carb carbidium and a death parafoam which siphons life forces. This uncontrollable Russian Cold War weapon is more than a match for his arc. Faux Wolverine. They really do use a lot of words I've never said in my life on the back of these cards, so... Sorry, guys. <laughs> Nimrod. Nimrod. Higher order of Sentinel from an, from an alternate future timeline with weapons and abilities far beyond our current technology. Nimrod is one of the X-Men's most formidable and relentless foes. Another reason why I really wanted to get the action figure of him, because he does look pretty cool. Should have got that three-pack. Probably still can, but I should have got it when I had the chance. Mother Ascani. Thirst, thrust into the future, Rachel founded the Ascani to defeat Apocalypse and bring peace and equality to the world. Okay, so something to do with Apocalypse. Oh, we got a Mr. Sinister here. Pretty badass looking card. That's cool. Impulsively fixated with the X-Men's Cyclops and Jean Grey's genetic history, present, past, and future, Mr. Sinister's deadly goals and ambitions remain shredder in a cloud of mystery. Another Bob Larkin design there. Pretty badass. Mystique. Is this our first Mystique card? No way. <laughs> I think you'd see more of her. Um, whether she morphed under, whether she's morphed undercover, leading a band of mutants, or planning an assassination, one thing is certain about the shape-shifting Mystique. Nightcrawler and Rogue can both call her mother. Wow. Rogue, too, eh? I didn't know that. Um, interesting to know. Who knows what's canon and what's not anymore, but that's uh, interesting. Mystique, I never knew that. I knew Nightcrawler, but not Rogue. Mojo, here's Mojo. He gets his own card here. This creepy looking crazy <laughs> mutant. <laughs> an insane ruler of an alien dimension dominated by television. Mojo lives for ratings. <laughs> That's cool. What do we got here? We got Maverick. This guy looks pretty cool. It takes something special to make it in the deadly world of the mercenary. Artist Mark Sasso. He looks pretty cool. He looks like uh, a bunch of characters just mixed into one. I see like a Iron Fist cable and like Bishop or something. I don't know. He just looks cool. Oh man, this card looks badass. Magneto. That looks cool. Super cool. Sorry if my uh, camera looks a little tilted there too, guys. 
This uh, won't be using this tripod in the next one for sure. It'll be a new one. Um, the master of magnetism is arguably the most powerful mutant on Earth. His last battle with the X Men has left him in a mindless, chaotic living on a living on a space station, living on space station Avalon. His mutant followers carry on his mad ambitions. He looks sick. What we got here? We got Silver Samurai. I know I have this one from before too. Another one I got that day out of the card machine. Um, armed with his mutant energy, channeling katana, channeling katana sword. <laughs> Excuse me. Silver Samurai seeks the honor uh, of becoming head of the clan Yashida. His attempts toward that goal have put him at odds against Wolverine time after time. Pretty awesome villain. Another character I love using in the uh, Marvel vs. Capcom games. Cena Blaze. Another person I have no idea who this is. Artist, our boy, Boris Verlejo. Verlejo. Spanish and uh, anyone that has uh, that last name, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shard. Uh. Oh, this is his bishop's sister. His sister Shard. Mutant law enforced like himself long dead. Preserved a holographic reminder of his home. Very interesting. Never knew Bishop had a sister. What do we got here? We got a picture of the Sentinels. A card of the Sentinels, I guess. Looks like he's grabbing Rogue and Cyclops there. These giant 20-foot tall robots are the creation of inventor Bolivar Trask. Using an arsenal of weapons, they are programmed with one single-minded mission to capture and eradicate all mutants. Sentinels are awesome. Always wanted a sentinel. <laughs> Here we got Rogue. Rogue flying. Throwing her jacket off. Julie Bell, the artist for this one. Pretty cool. Alright, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. We got Sabretooth. After he hasn't cut his nails for a bit. Maybe he just lets them expand longer. I don't know. This deadly homicidal mutant was once a mortal enemy of the X-Men. He is currently in reluctance. Reluctant state of quarantine at the X Mansion under the care of Professor Xavier, who is trying to re rehabilitate him. So, I'm trying to turn him into a good guy, I guess. What do we got here? Red and Slim. Jean Grey and Scott Summers. 2,000 years into the future to protect Nate from apocalypse. Oh my god, these are. The Cyclops and Jean Grey from the future. Pretty crazy. Oh, we got another Psylocke here. I really hope my phone doesn't fly off this thing again, man. Really? Psylocke. In her black attire, I would say. Elizabeth Betsy Braddock. Braddock. Pretty cool. That's a pretty cool picture. We got here, we got Prior Turin. Who the heck is that? It looks like a toy, actually. It doesn't even look like a drawing. Part man, part machine. Turin was a rebel hero and a key leader of the clan rebellion. Huh. Interesting. What do we got here? White Queen, aka Emma Frost. Um, we found that out earlier in the in the video. She looks pretty cool. Another character I don't have a figure of, believe it or not. Um, I was going to get that black one where she comes in the black outfit, but I was feeling the white. I think the white queen, you know, just makes sense to get her in white. So hopefully they make another one eventually. Uh, Tyler. That's a pretty basic name for uh, a hero there. Used as a, as a pawn by Strife, Tyler turned against his father, Cable, in an alternate future timeline. Oh, wow, look at that. Cable's son. Interesting. Smash the like if you're uh, learning some stuff, because I am. <laughs> Sunfire. Another character I don't know. One of, only one of the X-Men allies has a temper as hot as a solar flare. Sunfire. 
Sunfire. Hmm. I feel like I've heard of them, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Who we got? Wolverine. Fighting some Sentinels. Artist Dave DeVries. All right. Pretty cool. What do we got here? Extreme. Who the heck is this guy? It looks like Striker from Mortal Kombat mixed with like someone with a sword. He's an alien. No one as Adam X knows little about his own origins, only that he's inexplicably, I can't say that word, down to earth where his ability to make blood burn makes him a formidable opponent for the X-Force. Uh, Mark Sasso, the artist for that one. All right, we got two left. Executioner. Another guy I've never heard of. On a mad mission to kill mutants, Executioner is a former federal agent turned rogue. Okay, okay. Probably got sick of the mutants. And last card is Strife. Um, I think we had another Strife card earlier. Young Nathan Summers, dying of technovirus poisoning, was taken to a dystopian future for a cure. Part of that cure was the creation of a clone which grew to bitter manhood and became the terrorist strife. Nathan Summers. That must be Havoc, right? Because Scott Summers is... No, I don't know. Maybe Nathan Summers is uh, Cable. I think it's Cable. Anyways, I don't know my history that well. Um, that's the last card of the pile there, guys. Um, if you guys liked the video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.